Help, oh, please. Help, hey! Someone help me, my dad! We did not see that death coming on the season two premiere of Riverdale. Last night, the Riverdale gang finally reunited for the season two premiere, and we were not disappointed. After waiting far too long for Riverdale to return to our TV screens, season two finally premiered last night. It's been over 12 hours, and we're still thinking about all the crazy things that happened. We're gonna talk about the five best and craziest moments from season two, episode one, A Kiss Before Dying. Warning, there are a ton of spoilers ahead, so beware if you haven't watched the episode yet. And if you have it, what are you waiting for? In case you need some catching up on the season one finale, Archie's dad was shot by a masked gunman, and we were left without knowing if he would survive. So when Jughead, Betty, and Veronica rushed to Archie's side at the hospital, we may have gotten a little teary-eyed. It just shows how important these friends are to each other and how strong their relationships are. Which leads us to moment number one, when Archie and Veronica have a steamy shower scene. Thought you might want some help. We have seen Barchi come a long way since Veronica first moved to Riverdale, but we definitely weren't expecting this. When Archie goes to take a shower after he leaves the hospital, Veronica decides to strip down and join him, creating the steamiest moment in Riverdale history thus far. We honestly just can't get past the part where A, Archie's cast is still on, he knows those things can't get wet, right? And B, he was literally washing his father's blood off of his body, so we're not really sure that jumping in the shower with him was a good move on Veronica's part. Archie took a huge step in their relationship during this scene, so we obviously need to talk about our other favorite Riverdale couple. Number two, when Betty said she'll always support Jughead. We have to be honest, we're still nervous about what season two has in store for Jughead. With his father in jail and joining the Southside Serpents, Jughead and Betty's future together didn't look too bright. Thankfully, this moment gave us some hope to cling on to. Whatever you need to do or explore, I support you. When Betty and Jughead are about to part ways, she tells him that she knows that he's going to have to get involved in things that he doesn't want to and work with the serpents. And as scary as that sounds, she says that she'll always support him. Cue the swooning. Now we have to take a look at the parents of Riverdale. Archie isn't the only one with a parent in the hospital. Cheryl's mom is being treated for third degree burns and smoke inhalation because, you know, Cheryl burnt down their house. Although Cheryl tells everyone that her mother risked her life to save her, that's apparently not the case, which gives us number three, Cheryl's crazy monologue. We are seeing a new side of crazy from Cheryl, which is saying something because she was pretty insane during the first season. As she's visiting her mother in the hospital, Cheryl tells her mom that what she's put Cheryl through is abuse and that she owns her now. She proves this by pinching her mother's breathing tube, cutting her off from oxygen. Cheryl ends her monologue by saying that if her mother tries to do anything, she'll tell everyone about what really happened to quote, daddy in the shed. Does that mean Clifford's death wasn't suicide? While Cheryl is dealing with the loss of one parent and threatening another, Veronica is welcoming her father to Riverdale. We know the two don't necessarily get along, so we have to talk about what went down when the Lodge family was reunited. Number four, when Veronica straight up accused Hermione of planning the shooting of Fred Andrews. The theory of the Lodge's having something to do with a gunman is very popular, and it looks like it may become a reality. So By the way, in case either of you were wondering, Mr. Andrews woke up. He's going to make it. I know we're all really happy about that. Before Hiram came back, Veronica and her mom were in the hospital chapel when she said, quote, I don't think you're an innocent pawn, Mom. Hmm, we have a feeling that there will be a whole lot more Lodge family drama this year. And we have to talk about the craziest and most unexpected moment of the night. Number five, when Geraldine Grundy was murdered. What the heck is going on? When we first saw that Grundy was back, we were annoyed. Not only was she a horrible teacher who did some super illegal things with a student, but we saw her doing it again. And she won't be able to do it again though because shortly after Grundy was on screen, the same masked gunman came back and strangled her with a bow from her cello. Obviously, the gunman is going after people close to Archie, and we don't want to see who he goes after next. What did you guys think of the episode, and did you have any other favorite moments from the premiere? Let me know in the comments below, and then you can click right over here to see why Cole Sprouse says his twin Dylan will never appear on Riverdale. I'm Sinead DeVries. Thanks so much for tuning in.